In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to create columns of text like you'd use in end credits in DaVinci Resolve using Fusion. All of this is done in a single node in Fusion, so there's no need to create multiple nodes and then try to synchronise them when they scroll together. If you're interested in how to change character level formatting like I've done here with different size and styles of text, have a look at my other videos for an explanation of how to do that. Let's get rid of that and add a new Fusion composition. In Fusion, add a new text node and connect it up. I'm going to start with a simple two column layout and then we'll move on to a slightly more complex layout. This is all done using tabs. The position of each piece of text is dictated by the number of tabs that appear to the left of it. I'm just going to type in some uh, quick character names and actor names here. So there's a tab, first of all, followed by the first character name, then another tab and then the first actor name. And we carry on doing this for the rest of the characters. It all looks a little bit of a mess at the moment, but don't worry about that, it'll all come out in the wash. If we scroll down to tab spacing, you'll see there are eight tabs here we can work with. Tab number one is the character names, because there's just one tab to the left of each of those. We can position that where we'd like it, and we can change the alignment so that it's right aligned. Tab number two is the actors' names. Again, we can change the horizontal position of that and change the alignment so that it's left aligned. And we're going to align it just about there. I'm going to make all the text a little bit smaller as well. So that gives us two columns, both neatly aligned to the centre. In order to make these scroll, we can do the animation in the usual way. So create a keyframe at the start of the sequence and move the text all the way down to the bottom of the screen. And at the end of the sequence, move the text all the way up to the top. So that gives us our scrolling credits. And back on the timeline, that's what it looks like. That was the simple version. Let's move on to something a little bit more complicated. I find it's easier to lay things out in a word processor, as it's easier to see what's going on with the tabs. I'm going to turn on non-printing characters here so you can see where all the tabs are. What I've decided here is that tab number one is going to be for any centred text, tabs two and three are going to be for the same kind of layout of character and cast that I've done before, and tabs four, five and six are going to form a three column layout. Number four obviously being the left, number five being the middle column, and number six being the right column. So back in the document, cast has got one tab to the left of it, so that's going to become center aligned. Character name has got two tabs to the left of it, so that's going to be our left hand column. And the actor name has got a third tab to the left of it, so that's going to make it the right hand column. For the three column layout, we've got one, two, three, four tabs to the left of the first name, another one, for the middle name, and then a final sixth tab for the right hand column. Back to two columns here, and then a centred text again for the director at the end. So I'm going to copy all of that text, back in Resolve we'll add a new Fusion composition to the timeline, just make that a little bit longer. Back in the Fusion tab, just need to add a single text node and connect that to the media out. So we paste that into the text box. Again, it looks a little bit of a mess, but we'll quickly sort that out. So back down to tab spacing. Tab number one wants to be centered. Tab number two, the character names. That wants to be moved over to the left and right aligned. Tab 
and tab number three, that wants to be left aligned. And we'll move that over here. Tab four is the first of our three columns, so that goes over to the left. Just going to make all of these a little bit smaller. Tab five is going to be centered and center aligned. And tab six is the right hand column. Just make all of that a little bit smaller. And there we go. We can do the animation again exactly the same way that we did before. Keyframe at the beginning and move it all the way down. And another keyframe at the end, moving it all the way up. So that's our final credits there, all the different column layouts, all done in a single text node in Fusion.